What's up everybody, welcome to another honest review video. Today we are going to talk about this G Power GT19 power bank. Yeah, this power bank comes with a display panel. You may have already noticed that. Not only a display panel, this is actually a feature packed power bank. Today we are going to talk about all the features and the performance of this G Power GT19. We'll start from unboxing. But before everything, one request, if you end up liking this video, then please don't forget to click on the like button and please subscribe to this channel. Support honest content. G Power GT19 comes in a premium packaging and at the back of the box, they have printed all the information, including the package contents. So even before we do the unboxing, we know what things we are going to get inside. After opening the box, we will get the power bank itself. It's nice that there is no plastic. It's really an environmental friendly approach. There is a carrying pouch so we can easily carry it around with us. Also, it's very good to see that G Power has added a very good quality braided 140 watt USB-C to USB-C charging cable. Inside the box, we have also got some paperwork. I'm not gonna talk about those. Those are standard stuff. Let's put everything aside and let's check this G Power GT19 power bank. In hand, this power bank feels like a premium product because this is a premium flagship class power bank. It is a 12,000 mAh power bank it has 44.4 watt hour battery capacity and yeah, there are three ports. Two of those are USB-C and a USB-A port. One of those two USB-C ports has a green accent inside and that port actually supports 140 watt output. Not only output, G Power GT19 also supports 140 watt input so we can recharge this power bank within 19 minutes. That's really an amazing thing. I have already reviewed a lot of different power banks and I have noticed even some of the 10,000 mAh power banks takes more than 40 minutes to get fully recharged but this G Power GT19 gets fully refueled within 19 minutes. I may have repeated the same thing a few times because this really has added a lot of convenience to life. It's easy to use because even if suddenly I want to use the power bank, suddenly I want to go out with the power bank, it only takes around 19 minutes to fully refuel the power bank. Personally, in my daily life, I use a Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra and an iPhone 15 Pro Max. With this GT19 power bank, I can recharge both of these two smartphones at a very fast charging speed and I can actually recharge my smartphones multiple times. I also use a MacBook Pro M2 Pro and this G Power GT19 power bank only takes around 78 minutes to fully recharge my MacBook Pro M2 Pro 16 inch. That's really a very fast speed. And not only MacBook Pro M2 Pro, this GT19 power bank also recharges my iPad Pro M2 Pro within a very short time. It takes shorter time than any other power banks because it offers a very fast charging speed. Moreover, there is a very special thing. This power bank has a very good temperature management. This power bank has an always active temperature monitoring system which monitors the temperature of the power bank so it always keeps the power bank cool and at the same time maintains a very stable yet a very fast charging speed. This power bank can be used in many different environments. It supports a very wide temperature range like from minus 40 degree to 60 degrees Celsius. Whatever the weather is, this power bank will always offer stable and very fast charging speed. G Power has made it possible by using a very good quality battery pack inside. They claim that this battery pack has a more than 1000 cycle lifespan. Well, if I have fallen in love with this power bank due to its very fast charging speed, the second thing I love about this power bank is its display panel. Yeah, it comes with a TFT panel and on the TFT panel, all the necessary information is available on the TFT panel. There are two different interfaces and we can cycle through the interfaces by pressing the button. On the first interface, we can check the battery status. We can also check which USB port is in use, what type of charging speed we are getting. On another interface, we can check the watt hour, we can check the temperature. Yeah, I have already mentioned there is an always active intelligent temperature monitoring going on all the time. So this monitors the temperature and stabilizes the charging speed. Oh yeah, sometimes we need to recharge our AirPods or earbuds or some other gadgets which requires low current mood. Yeah, there is a low current mood available on this power bank. What we have to do to activate the low current mood is to double press the button. Yeah, when the low current mood is activated, there will be a blue dot on the display panel. So we will clearly get to know that the power bank is in low current mood. Well, as there are three ports, one USB-A and two USB-C ports on this power bank, 
we can use the ports in many different combinations. If we want to use multiple ports at the same time, then the fastest combination would be C1 plus C2. In this combination, we will be able to get up to 176 watt of charging speed. The USB C1 will deliver up to 140 watt and the USB C2 will deliver up to 36 watt of charging speed. That means I can recharge my MacBook Pro and my iPad Pro at the same time and both the device will get the fastest charging speed they support. The second fastest combination would be USB C1 plus USB A. Yeah, again, the USB C1 will deliver up to 140 watt and the USB A will deliver up to 18 watt of charging speed. Well, if you are someone like me who want to recharge a lot of things, a lot of devices at the same time, then okay, you may use all the three ports at the same time and you will be able to get up to 155 watt charging speed. Yeah, you will be able to get 140 watt from the USB C1 and the USB C2 along with the USB A together will deliver up to 15 watt of charging speed. You know what, sometimes I'm in a hurry so I want to recharge the power bank and at the same time recharge my some other devices. So I use the USB C1 port to recharge the power bank and use the USB C2 and USB A port to recharge my other devices. Yeah. This G Power GT19 power bank supports bi directional charging or two way charging. So we can recharge the power bank and at the same time recharge some of our devices. So, yeah, that saves a lot of time. Okay, there is one more thing that is one of the most important part of a power bank that is safety measures. What type of safety measures are included inside a power bank is a very important thing for me because I use a specced out Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, specced out iPhone 15 Pro Max, specced out iPad Pro M2 and a very expensive specced out MacBook Pro M2 Pro. So all these devices costs a lot. So I want to make sure that these devices won't get damaged while I'm using a power bank to recharge these devices. I have checked a lot and yeah, there are a lot of safety measures included inside this power bank. It has overcharge protection, over discharge protection, over current protection, over voltage protection, over temperature protection and many other protections that most of the other power banks don't come with. So that's really an advantage of using this G Power GT19 power bank. And that's why me and my best friend Thea, we both love to use this G Power GT19 power bank. Well, before we wrap up, there are two other things I need to mention. This GT19 power bank is TSA approved, so we can carry it on board to any aircraft on our flight and we can use it anywhere without any issue. Moreover, I need to mention it is CE and FCC certified. Well, the second thing is the button placement. G Power has really intelligently placed the button. When I hold it on my right hand, my thumb lands exactly on the button. Yeah, the button placement is really a very good thing. Not only me, all of my friends and all of my workmates over here, they all like this design. Well, that's all about this G Power GT19 power bank. At this moment, it is only available on Kickstarter. If you are interested, go ahead, check the Kickstarter page. I think from the price per performance point, this power bank offers a very good value proposition. It's not only about value, it performs like a monster. GT19 is the flagship of its own segment. So if you are on the market looking for a 10,000 or 15,000 mAh power bank, then I think GT19 will be a very good choice because you can not only recharge your smartphones or any other gadgets with this power bank, you are also able to recharge your laptops at a very fast charging speed. I have left a link of the Kickstarter page in the description box. Go ahead, check the product. But before that, yeah, if you have liked this video, then please don't forget to click on the like button and please subscribe to this channel. Support honest content.